Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. You know, a miter saw is one of the most useful tools you can have in your shop. So today, we're gonna look at a budget miter saw stand I bought off Amazon that makes using and transporting your saw a lot easier. The stand I bought was the Powertech MT4000 shown here, and I'll put a link to it in the description box. Now after it's unboxed, we're left with a handful of parts that's easy to assemble by just following the instructions. First, we're going to assemble the wheel bracket by removing the nuts, attaching it to the mainframe, and then tightening it down. Then we'll attach the wheels with a cotter pin and fasten down the handle. I'm going to thread these adjustment knobs in place, but just keep them loose for the time being. Now to unfold the legs, you just press the handle on the inside to unlock them, then lift up till they latch in place. If you're going to use the provided power strip, now is a great time to plug it in. There's also a leveling knob on one of the legs to help steady the stand if necessary. Okay, now we're ready to flip the stand over and insert the rollers. The saw brackets lock onto the stand by hooking the handle side in first, then pressing down on the back end. This will lock it in place. Then press down on the handle to clamp it. This is what will hold the miter saw in place once the brackets are attached to the saw. The clamps are even adjustable from underneath. Now I'm going to be mounting my old 7 and a quarter sliding miter saw. I found it easy to just sit the saw on top of the brackets and run the bolts up through the bottom. Then we'll tighten everything on the saw so nothing moves when we put it on the stand. I like to use a straight edge to set the saw depth and make sure I'll have full use of the rollers. Then we'll clamp the saw in place. Again, we're going to use a straight edge to set the roller height. Now if we're cutting long stock and need more support, we can move the rollers either out or in. So overall, I feel like this stand works well, is built well, and for the 125 bucks I paid, you can't hardly beat the price. Plus, this type of stand makes using your miter saw a lot easier. It provides support for a wide range of lumber lengths, brings the height of the saw up to a comfortable level, makes transporting the saw a breeze, and even folds up for compact storage. So if you're interested, check out that link in the description box. That's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for stopping by the shop, and we'll see you next time.